This video is sponsored by Helix Sleep. Have you ever dreamt of a mattress that feels like it's made just for you? Look no further. Helix has got you covered with their premium mattresses, tailor-made to suit your needs and delivered straight to your doorstep. All you need to do is take their online sleep quiz, answer their questions about your body type, positions you like to sleep in, firmness preferences, and more. They'll match you with the perfect mattress for you based on your information. They have something for everyone's unique tastes. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including their award-winning Lux and Ultra Premium Elite collections. The Helix Plus, a mattress designed for big and tall sleepers, and the Helix Kids mattress designed for growing bodies and endorsed by child sleep and medical experts. I prefer to sleep on my side on a soft but not too soft mattress. Helix thought that the midnight model would be perfect for me and they were exactly right. Every night I'm so impressed with how comfy and supportive my mattress is. I wake up feeling well rested and refreshed and it's held up great over the years that I've been sleeping on it. The delivery process couldn't be easier. They roll it up in a box for you to just slide it out of and get to sleeping. You have a 100 night sleep trial to really put your mattress to the test and make sure it's the right one for you. Helix mattresses come with a 10 year warranty and they offer financing options and flexible payment plans. Visit helixsleep.com moon to get 20% off your Helix mattress plus two free pillows. Hi there. Would you like to help me do a little bit of gardening? Okay, great. First, we must choose an appropriate location based on sunlight exposure, soil quality, and drainage. I think that over here is too dry. Over here, the soil has too much clay content, too thick of a layer there. Oh, but this patch here will be absolutely perfect. Let's prepare this soil patch by clearing the area of any weeds. Pull. Pull. Grab and pull. Grab and pull. Grab and pull. Oh, there's one. Grab and pull. There's one. Grab and pull. There's some rocks here. shuffle and turn over the soil to loosen it up and improve aeration. Just turn it over like this. Make it nice and light and airy. And then I'll grab my compost bag. soil pile and use it to backfill the holes, patting down gently to secure our baby plants in place. Grab 
my watering can here. Turn on the hose. Turn off the hose and water the plants very thoroughly to help them establish for mulching. Grab my bag of mulch, cut, 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 and pour the mulch around the plants. And pat, 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 pat the mulch into place. This layer is going to help the plants retain their moisture. Pat, 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 pat. Suppress weeds. Pat, 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 pat. And regulate the soil scissors and you see these loose threads here around the tear. I am carefully trimming them to prevent further unraveling. Pull and cut and pull and cut and pull and cut. I'll take my needle. I'll take my Finally. 
this roll of pink floral paper, this roll of gold glitter paper, this roll of balloon paper, or this roll of puppy print paper. Okay, good choice. Placing the gift in the center of the wrapping paper, ensuring that there is plenty to fully cover the gift and then some, because we can always cut away, but we can't add more back later. Let's use scissors to cut, to cut, to cut, and slide. Oh, I love when it does that. Now it's the appropriate size with a little extra, like I said, for overlap. I'm gonna turn the gift so that. select a shade of ribbon. I think white will look nice and crisp, don't you? Okay, let's do that. Bring it out. Good length. Cut it. And then we'll turn the gift upside down. Flip it. Finish the bow. Tie it. Take this gift tag. Tie it on. What is the recipient? Plug in the vacuum and vacuum the floors. Paying special attention to high traffic areas like this hallway here. Take this bottle of Windex and use this cloth to clean this mirror. It's a microfiber cloth so we can get nice.
preparing a sterile work area and then cleaning and sterilizing your skin using this antiseptic solution to minimize risk of infection. I'll take my shaving cream and my razor. Transfer the tattoo design onto your skin using a stencil, ensuring accurate placement and alignment. Peel it off. Attach the appropriate needle configuration to the tattoo machine. Adjust the needle depth and speed to the proper settings. And then another bowl. Pour in some oil, rub it around, slightly grease it. Place the dough in that bowl. Cover it with a clean kitchen towel. Let it rise until it doubles in size. Punch it down into release any Sprinkle. 
just found this lost puppy running around outside and he's all filthy from his time outdoors so I think we should give him a bath. Let's give him some little scratches behind his ears and down his back. Let's fill the bathtub with warm water. Let's brush his coat. Let's place him in the bath and wet his coat thoroughly. Pump, 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 dog shampoo into my palm. Lather it into the fur, carefully avoiding the eyes and the ears. So, let's get a nice lather going. And then rinse the coat. Trim the nails. and clean. I want to decorate a scrapbook page about my trip to the boardwalk in my journal here. So I'll put my journal down on my desk and first I'll write a little journal entry describing my day.
also have a couple of indicate steps from the arcade. I'll put some glue on and paste it. Put some glue on and paste it. And a dolphin postcard I purchased. Put some glue on the back. Paste it there on that side. Thumb through my sticker collection. I have this wave design stamp and a blue stamp a pad. Stamp that around the edges of the page. Stamp, 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 stamp. I like to make a mug to enjoy my chai tea in in the morning. First, I'll take a pile of clay, knead the clay thoroughly to remove air bubbles, and ensure it's reliable, easy to work with. some more clay. Roll out a handle. Score and slip both the mug body and the handle at their joining points. Press the handle firmly onto the mug and smooth out any seams. Bisque fire it in a kiln to remove any remaining moisture and harden serving platter. Grab the prosciutto. Place it, place it, place it. Grab the salami. Place it, place it, place it. Grab the pepperoni. Place it, place it, place it. Arranging the meats into small piles on the board. Then for the cheeses, let's cut up some brie.
would love to paint your portrait. Would you be willing to sit for me? Great. Here's my canvas. Squeeze out the paint soup onto my palette. Soup, 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 soup. Make up the exact colors I'll need for your portrait. Starting with the basic shades for the skin tones. Gradually adding more colors for shading, highlights, details. Blocking in the evaluate the overall likeness, composition, make the necessary adjustments, apply a protective varnish to the entire portrait to enhance the colors and protect the surface. Sign my And then let's frame the finished painting to protect it and enhance its presentation. Perfect. Let's make a fairy terrarium. We've got to choose a glass container with a wide opening. I'd like to use this big drawer to ensure that it has no cracks or chips. It's nice and clean.
I'd like to make you a smoothie. Strawberry and banana, I think. Would you like that? Good. First, let's wash the strawberries. Wash the strawberries thoroughly. And soup, soup, soup. Remove the stems. Take the bananas. Peel, peel, peel the bananas. Slice, slice, slice them into chunks. Place the Just a 